For two-point perspective, we're again going to start with a horizon line. Remember, that's where the ground meets the sky. But instead of having one vanishing point, we're going to drop in two vanishing points. And we're going to actually have extra guidelines this time. The first guideline I'm going to show you is called a station point. A station point is the corner of your shape. So I'm going to add my first normal guideline onto the vanishing point. Since this is my station point, that tells me that's the corner of my rectangular table. I'm using my pink pen, I'm going to come in and draw my permanent line over the top of it. I'm going to use a parallel line again to create the other side of that prism and connect on my guideline. So the thing that makes two-point perspective different then one point perspective, other than the fact that you have two points, vanishing points, is that you get to see more of the shape. So we have the right side of our rectangular prism. I'm going to come in with my guidelines and go from the vanishing point to my station point for the bottom and for the top. So now I have my right side and come in with my pink pen and start developing the left side of this rectangular prism. Parallel line. And now I have to do something with the bottom. It's above my horizon line, so I can see the bottom of this rectangular prism. That means I'm going to need more guidelines. So, this corner is on the left side of my station point. It's going to go back to the opposite vanishing point. So I'm going to create a guideline here. And then for this corner, which is on the right side of my station point, I'm going to have to go back to the opposite vanishing point to the left. So now I can use my pink pen to create my true bottom. Ta -da. So because this rectangular prism is above my horizon line, this is the bottom of my shape. This is the right side. We have the left side and the top cannot be seen. Let's do one on our horizon line. So I've got to begin with the station point. Remember that's the corner of our shape. Station point. Guideline. Guideline. And for a finalized rectangular face. Bottom below the horizon line, top above the horizon line, station point, parallel line. Can't see the bottom or the top. Come back, guideline for the right side, top and bottom. Using my pink pen, make a parallel line and face. So I have my right side, can't see the bottom, can't see the top, left side. And let's do one final demonstration for left side below horizon line.
thing I want you to notice is this line is the same as this one. This line is longer than the one on top. So this line is an inch and a quarter. On the top, it's only an inch. That is what makes all the difference to actually making it look three-dimensional. Now I've got my left side and my right side. I have to get a top. The bottom can't be seen because I'm below the horizon line. So I need to make a top using the guidelines. Just like I did above the horizon line, I've got to use the opposite vanishing point for the top. So for this corner that's on the right side of my vanishing point, I'm using my left vanishing point. For the left corner, I'm using the right vanishing point. Now I'm going to take my pink pen to make it permanent. So now we have three boxes or rectangular prisms below the horizon line, on the horizon line, and above the horizon line.